What's up guys, Matt Sigal Films here. Today, we have the top 20 Lego Star Wars minifigures that came out in 2022. 2022 is almost over, we have like two days left. So, I decided, as I usually do, I did it in 2020, did it in 2021, so I guess I have to do it in 2022. Gathered a list of all the minifigures that came out and I picked out my favorites. So, with that said, let's get into my list. Okay, so first off, we have our honorable mention, I guess you can say number 21, but our honorable mention is the plain white clone trooper. This came out in the beginning of the year with the minifigure packs, and I think this is a cool minifigure. The body, like the body print and like the armor print is inaccurate. And that's why it really doesn't make the list. But also this is kind of like a reused figure. I guess the printing is fairly new. Nothing too crazy with the printing. It's the same printing that we got on the 501st Troopers in 2020. It's just without the blue. So it's kind of a reused print without all the colors. And then the helmet is also reused from 2013. So... Even though I'm, I am a fan of this minifigure, clone troopers are always great. This has to be on the list because, you know, plain white clone trooper. Anyway, moving on, number 20. This is our official list. We have Cassian Andor. This is a really cool minifigure. The printing is great. And I think it's just pretty accurate to how he looked in the scene in the show. So, you know, I always love when minifigures are accurate. And this one is a really accurate figure, but it's nothing too crazy, so it doesn't beat out all the minifigures in front of it, even though it is a really solid minifigure. Moving on, number 19, we have the Grand Inquisitor. So this is an inaccurate minifigure, at least when you look at the head. It was inaccurate in the Obi-Wan Kenobi show itself, so I guess it has to be inaccurate on the minifigure. I think they should have made it a little bit more egg shaped or a little bit longer. This is just like a normal Lego head. So it kind of doesn't look accurate. But overall, the rest of the minifigure is really cool. You have the whole big kind of armor piece for him, which I like with the cape. Obviously, I'm a fan of the lightsabers. I think that's a really cool thing that they added the little spinny thing on the lightsabers. And yeah, overall, a really nice minifigure next we have the snow scout trooper i love this new scout trooper helmet that lego made these past few years that i think made its appearance first in the razor crest from 2020 and i just really like the way that they did the scout trooper it's not like your normal scout trooper it's got, instead of black, it's got some gray details, which I think it's cool. Came out in the Snow Trooper Battle Pack. Probably the best minifigure that came from that set. So, yeah, really like this figure. Next, at number 17, we have Obi-Wan Kenobi from the Obi-Wan Kenobi show in his blue outfit from the Scythe. This is a nice minifigure. I like the blue outfit in the show itself. I think it looked cool. And I think this minifigure looks cool. You have the brand new mullet hairpiece, plain brown legs, and then the body print I think is really cool with the poncho or whatever. So nice minifigure. I'm a fan. Even though it's nothing too crazy, it's still a nice figure. Next up at number 16, we have the Gamorrean Guard. And this is a pretty unusual figure to make it on the list because you have some really nice leg printing on this figure. You have like the exclusive head mold that goes over the body. And I don't know, I wasn't expecting this minifigure to make it on the list, but I still was like, all right, I like this minifigure, but I think this is a cool minifigure. I think it deserves its spot on the list it's cool the gamorian guard i even forgot that the boba fett's throne room came out this year i thought it came out last year for some reason but yeah gamorian guard number 16. 
Next, number 15, we have the Clone Gunner that came out in the ATTE. I think this is a really good minifigure. It's got basically the same body print as the Phase 1 Trooper that came out this year in the beginning of the year, but it has that weird kind of shoulder pad piece or print, I guess, and then it's got a Phase 2 helmet with the holes, which the only reason this is low on the list is because of the holes. It just looks ugly and inaccurate, but overall still a really nice minifigure with all the details and stuff, so you really can't go wrong with clone troopers. Next, we have the fifth brother. This is my favorite Inquisitor that came out this year. I think it's a really cool minifigure. It's got the armor piece, it's got the lightsaber, it's got the printing on the body and legs. It's got a nice helmet mold. Really a nice minifigure. I don't know why I like this minifigure so much, but put it high up on this list. Next up, we have the Snowy Chewbacca that came out in the ATST. This is a really cool minifigure. I don't know why I like it so much, but it's basically your normal Chewbacca. It's just it has snow printed onto it. And I just really like that concept. It's obviously from Hoth, and so I think it's cool. And I really think it's good that Lego made this minifigure with the snow, because again, I'm a big fan of like accuracy and when minifigures are accurate. It can't get more accurate than when you put snow on a minifigure in a snow set. So Chewbacca, has to make it on this list. Next at number 12, we have Ned B. This is the best minifigure that we got from the Kenobi show. It's got that Wrecker armor piece. It's got the hammer. It's got an exclusive print. Basically this whole minifigure is exclusive to that $150 Obi-Wan Kenobi set, which the set itself is bad, but the minifigures are pretty cool. So Ned B the best minifigure to come out of the Obi-Wan Kenobi show. Really good figure. I think definitely if, if I were to pick up that $50 set, this would be the main reason. But yeah, Ned B has to make it on the list. Next at number 11, we have the 212th Clone Trooper. Same with the Clone Gunner. This minifigure is good overall. But just the inaccuracies with the helmet and the holes, they don't look good. The helmet also is a bit inaccurate the way that it's printed on the minifigure. So even though I love the 212, obviously, still a really good figure, still makes it pretty high on the list. But I'm surprised that most of these clone troopers didn't even crack the top 10 because I really love clone troopers. But you can't really reward lego with a top 10 list with these clone troopers if they're so inaccurate and they just look ugly with the holes so yeah now we're officially moving into our top 10 starting off with the omega minifigure this minifigure is not crazy at all it's just a normal minifigure but it's omega and it's an exclusive minifigure to the bad batch which is coming out pretty soon at least season two and it's, she's got the dual molded or printed arms, which is cool. She's got the small legs. She's got the exclusive torso print. And she's got the face print and the hair. And it's just a really accurate minifigure. And, you know, as you know, I've mentioned this many times, I love accuracy. And even though the minifigure itself isn't that crazy, it is accurate. And so that's why it makes it this high on the list. Next up at number nine, we have probably my surprise of the year. I did not expect C-3PO to crack the top 10, but this is just such a good minifigure. I love side leg printing. I love arm printing, and this minifigure has it all. This is probably the most accurate C-3PO we have gotten in LEGO ever, and too bad it's only exclusive to a UCS set because it's such a nice minifigure. I wish I could have gotten, but the set is like $240. And I don't feel like getting a whole UCS Luke's Landspeeder 
just to get one C-3PO minifigure. But love this minifigure, love the gray leg that it comes with. I really like that detail because, you know, got the dual molded legs and stuff. So really love this minifigure. Next at number eight, we have the Cam and Noen. Even though I'm not a fan of the head of this minifigure, I think it should be longer. It's still a nice minifigure. I think that this is our first Lego Cam and Noen. I hope that Lego improves the design for future Cam and Noens, but this one isn't bad as like the first take on Cam and Noens by Lego. I think it's a good minifigure and yeah. Nice mini figure, number eight on the list. Next up at number seven, we have probably the cutest mini figure that came out this year, and that is BD1. I love this mini figure so much. I do have that BD droid from the Naboo Starfighter, or like the Mandalorian's Naboo Starfighter. I think this could have easily made it on the list as well. But because this is BD1, such an iconic character from Jedi Fallen Order, I think this one beats out the other one. I don't feel like including two BD droids on the list. So I guess you can just say the new BD droid molds just itself with the two figures that we got this year makes it on the list. But I had to choose BD1 over that one because it's just more iconic and well known. So BD1 got the red printing. Really nice minifigure overall. Definitely the cutest minifigure we got this year. Next up. At number six, we have the 187th Airborne Trooper. Both Airborne Trooper designs that we got this year with the Airborne and the regular Trooper are really good minifigures. And even though the 187th aren't even canon in the purple color, I love the purple clone troopers and I love that Lego included something from Legends. The purple clone troopers, Mace Windu's Legion, not something we ever got to see in canon. They're not even canon, even from the books or anything. So love that Lego is making Legends figures. I also love this minifigure, even though it does have the printed waist cape, which I obviously don't love. I like it more when Lego actually does an actual waist cape and not just prints it on. I feel like that's really lazy, but overall still a really nice minifigure. Next up at number five, we have Cad Bane. What a surprise. We got Cad Bane this year. Really good minifigure. I feel like the hat is way too small. The hat should be larger, but except that this is a great minifigure. You have like those tubes that attach to his cheeks. You have the whole body print, which is awesome. You have the two blasters and just overall a great minifigure. Cad Bane, not someone I was expecting to get this year in 2022, but a really nice addition to the 2022 minifigure lineup. Next up at number four, we have the 187th regular troopers. I love these minifigures. Probably the best, second best actually clone trooper that we got this year. It doesn't have the holes, which is a big plus, And it's just a really, nice mini figure what else is there to say clone troopers obviously my favorite types of mini figures really great that it made it onto this list next up at number three so top three now we have mace windu and what an underrated mini figure i think this is one of the best mini figures clearly that we got this year it has the arm printing with the Republic logo and like the com links and stuff really accurate to the Clone Wars, which I love. It's got the great accurate body printing, the purple lightsaber. What else is there to say? Great Mace Windu minifigure. I just really like it. Very underrated. That's why I had to put it in my top three. Next up, we have the Mandalorian from the UCS Razor Crest. And what an improvement to our normal season one Mando. We got Beskar Mando, I think in the same spot last year, or maybe it was number one. This one is even better, I think. They made the helmet so much better with all of that printing that they put on there. They gave him arm printing. 
And then the rest of the mold and printing is the same to the previous versions, but just the addition of the arm printing and the printing on the helmet makes a big difference. And now at number one, you guys all probably know we've been wanting this minifigure for so, so long. We have phase two commander cody this is the first ever phase two commander cody that lego has made and they delivered even though the rest of the 212 minifigures aren't that great this one is a great great minifigure and maybe i'm just putting it up here because i've been wanting a phase two commander cody from lego ever since i got into lego star wars and maybe it's not that great of a minifigure but I still think it's really, really good. All the detailed printing that LEGO made for this minifigure, it looks as accurate as it could possibly be, in my opinion. Maybe they could have added some arm printing, some side leg printing, obviously, to include that. But overall, as like a first try at Phase 2 Commander Cody, this is perfect. So yeah, that is my list. All right, guys, that was my top 20 LEGO Star Wars minifigures of 2022. Now, we did get other minifigures, but those did not come out originally in 2022. They are reused minifigures, so I didn't include them on the list. This had to be only minifigures that came out in 2022. And yeah, great selection of minifigures that we got this year. A bunch of underrated minifigures like Mace Windu, like the C-3PO, but we also got a bunch of like hyped up minifigures like Commander Cody, Cad Bane, the 187, the 212, bunch of nice minifigures. So yeah, let me know, do you agree with my list? Am I an idiot? Because I forgot some great minifigure that I just kind of skipped over baby by accident. Let me know. But I think this is a good list. It obviously does not have to be your list. This is just my opinion, but you can obviously base your list off of this. With, but yeah, with that said, that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like down below. If you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel for more lists like this one. I will be making a top 10 LEGO Star Wars set of 2022 tomorrow, which should be a fun video. But yeah, that is it. Thank you guys for watching. See you all in the next one. Bye.